Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to do factorials for fractions. Now, factorials are actually a pretty straightforward idea. When it comes to putting them in fraction um, context, the only thing you got to think about is when it comes to reducing them, the multiplication can be a little bit large, depending on the numbers themselves. But here's a quick demo for you to show you how factorials work in fractions. Suppose you want to divide 4 factorial by 6 factorial. Now what you got to think about is the definition of the factorials themselves and it's basically the numbers starting with the number 4 and then working its way to 1 and then multiplying. So in other words, 4 factorial is really 4, 3, 2, and 1 and you're actually multiplying all of those numbers together. Okay, And then 6 factorial is the same thing. You start out with 6 and you end with 1. So you have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, and you're multiplying all of these. Now, you're not actually multiplying each numerator and denominator together. You're actually going to leave the numbers as is because you're actually going to make things easier by canceling. For example, so with multiplication, the 4 in the numerator cancels with the 4 in the denominator. The 3's cancel with the 3, the 2's cancel, and the 1's cancel. And so, since in this case, since the numerator is ent entirely canceled, you're left with a 1 at the top, and the bottom you have 6 times 5, so you have 1 over 6 times 5, and only then should you multiply the two numbers, 6 times 5 being 30, so you have 1 over 30 as your final answer. So when it comes to factorials and fractions, make sure you expand the factorials first, reduce, and then multiply. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to do factorials with fractions.